Hello, hello, hello. My name is Peter. Today we are going to dismantle the SE mini computer and then look at all the components that comes with it and then break all the components into different pieces and count them up. Here is the infamous Racing 5000 series mini PC. It's called mini because it's small and it's called PC because it has all the components of a regular computer. But this is just in the 21st century, all the computer parts are reduced into a very small, very small mainframe that you can carry around, small mini computer you can carry around. So today we're going to take a look at what is inside the box. And then after that, the next video will be what is putting together what we removed. All right, for tonight, we will take a look at how this uh, mini PC, what is inside of it and how it works, all right? So you turn it upside down. And remember what we're working on right now, it's called, the model number is SER, input is the 19 volts and the amp is three amps. Serial number are ending with 80061, and we are about to start. You put it down. The tools we are going to use for this is just very simple tools, two of them. The flat head would help us remove the cable, and the star head would help us to remove all the screws. First of all, the back has four screws. The motherboard has four screws, so you want to know how to remove all those. This is the tools I'm going to use for this project. These are very simple tools. And now we can take a look at the small manual. Here is that cable. We are going to remove the cable from the connector so that we can get the motherboards out. And I always need something to organize my tools. I prefer using a magnet. I remove this magnet from my speaker. You can get a small magnet from your speaker to help you arrange your screws. There are tiny screws. If you don't arrange them right, then you might misplace them and you start wasting time looking for screws. All right, having said that much, here comes the mini computer. There are four screws, one, two, three, four. Go to work. The screws are tiny and very simple to remove. So you go ahead and screw it up. It's magnetic, you see that? It holds up. You go to my organized tray and put it there. Go to the next one, unscrew it. Make sure you take your time, don't rush, and take it out. See that? Organize it. Now you have two screws. Go to the next one and take it out. And I have three screws. Go to the next one, take it out. And I have all the screws removed. The good news is at the back of it, you will find a small tab. You hold that tab, shake it, shake it slowly, shake it slowly. And then don't force anything. Very gentle. You will see the cable I was talking about. The cable here is holding the cover. And if you pay attention, the cover here has an adapter to put on another hard drive, HDD. Serial ATA hard drive goes into this slot here to make your memory more. So now you take a look at the, the cable. The cable has a black tab. So you put your flathead screwdriver and, and, and pry it on, the, on each side, pry it on each side and shake it slowly. And it comes the screw or the cable comes up. So that's my first tools on my first part I remove. The next one is to look at the inside. Now here are the motherboards. Before you remove the motherboards, let's get the memories out. You click on the side here, on the side here, memory just picks, pops up. Take a look closer at the memory. The memory here, mine says eight. If you pay attention, take a look at it. It's a eight GB DD4. Click real close. 8 GB DDR4 3200 sodium. So that tells you that this is a 8 memory. And because it's a dual channel, you gotta have two of them to take advantage of 
the dual channel of the motherboard. Now we go to the next one, remove that one, take a look at the back, and you realize that it's called crucial. Remember it's called crucial? And the same here, 8 GB DDR4, 32, there you go, 3200 sodium. So now we have eight plus eight give you 16. That's what they promise you. The next thing we are going to deal with is to remove the hard drive. This is the SSD hard drive that's already in this motherboard and it comes with a 500 gig. Again, there's a screw right here. Turn the screw slowly and put it on your tray that you use to organize your screws so that you know where they are. All right, and then very simple. You shake it slowly, shake it slowly, 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 slowly. There you go. Again, you can take a look at it. What does it say? It say 500 gigabits NVM and a 3P plus. And that is the 500 FED card, hard drive. You put that aside. All right, the next thing we do is to get the screws for, the screws for the Wi-Fi card. We got a Wi-Fi card right here. We gotta remove the Wi-Fi card so we can get to the motherboard. Slowly, slowly, you keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. Keep turning and prying it and prying it and prying it slowly. There you go. Again, you put it on your tray, make sure you're Screws are not missing at all. Now you shake it slowly, shake it, shake it, shake it. There you go. And we got that out. Now, take a look at the motherboard. Now the motherboard also have four screws. Screw it slowly. Slowly, 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 slowly. And keep, keep turning until it actually comes out. There it is. Put it right there. All right, now we get another one here. Keep shaking, 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 shaking until it comes out. There you go. You put it down on your tray. And go to the next one. Gentle, because it's a mini PC. Things are very, very fragile inside here. So you had to wear cloths. If you notice, my hands have cloths on. Just for anti-static. If you don't want to get the anti-static, you wear cloths. Otherwise, you're computer might not boot up again because if anybody have electricity in the body all right i already removed the other one so we got four screws out again you shake it shake it shake it slowly until the motherboard comes out you rearrange the uh, the wi-fi card keep shaking real slow shake it shake it shake it shake it shake it shake it don't force anything if it does not come out don't force it you gotta shake it slow you gotta shake it real slow while you bring it all out. I got it out. Now here is the infamous motherboard. Check it out. The motherboard, you see here, notice it. It has a local area network. It has a two of the USB and you have the DP and the HDMI and the power cable. The other side, you got another two US, two USB here two USB here and your type C to charge your phone and your headset and the power. You turn around, we are going to remove the fan. If you take a look at the motherboard, as a good technician, you can understand what is in there. Here is a battery that holds the CMOS charge and here the fan, we're gonna remove this fan. One, two, and the connector here. So let's go. Shake it, shake it real slow. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. The connector is unplugged. And get your screwdriver. And you see another screw right here? You turn it slowly. Turn it real slow. And it should come out. There you go. Put it on your organizer. There are two of them here. Keep turning, keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. And it's all out so right there. All right. Now, it has a tape on top. So you shake it like slowly. There you go. We got the tape out. Here is 
the fan, that fan, the CPU, and make it cool. Put it on the side. I want you to pay attention to the motherboard. The motherboard has a CPU here, and here is called the heat sink that radiate the heat out of the CPU to make it cool. If you remove the CPU, and also if you remove the heat sink, its CPU will come out. Again, here's a battery. Here's a connection for the fan. If you turn around, you hear what it says here? It says it, it, it has a CPU. The CPU is actually SER5. 5500U, 0 plus 0G. That is the model number of the AMD CPU that is in here motherboard. So far, so good. We have finished removing all the parts. I want you to count my parts so I can see you count yours. Here is the case. And the case is the first thing I, I want to see. You can buy a, a case for mini computer. The first part is the case. Next attached to the case is small antenna for the Wi-Fi card. And here's a Wi-Fi card. So you got part number. The first one is the case number one, Wi-Fi card number two, the motherboard number three, and the cable of the hard drive number four, and the fan number six, or number, yeah, number five, and the hard drive. Now the hard drive number six and the memory number seven, second memory number eight, and the adapter number nine. Those are all the parts that you can dismantle, disassemble. And the next session, we will put together the motherboard. This is the end of this session, how to dismantle the CPU and count all your parts. And let's count again. Number one is the case. Number two is the Wi-Fi card. Number three is the cable for the hard drive. Number yeah, number four is the hard drive. I mean the CP is a motherboard rather, but a CPU is attached to it. So we have a CPU with the motherboard. Don't mess with the CPU right now. And we got one, two, three, four, five is the fan. Six it's the hard drive for SSD hard drive, 500 gig. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven is the memory one, eight, memory two, nine, it's a CPU carrying case. It's adapter for CPU, so that's nine. This case here, the back of the case is number 10. So a total of 10 part we have removed again Thank you for this session. If you need access to any of the things that I'm using, I will have a link on my description so that you can either buy one or just have an idea of the things that I use for this project. Thank you everyone and we'll see you in the next video.